Okay, welcome back. We're on day seven, NaNoWriMo 2019, doing the story Washed Up, a pirate adventure, a pirate adventure slash thriller that has yet to be either at this point because right now it's been a farce of people who are amateur play right or play performers who I'm pretty sure I've totally miscalled as professionals because they sure don't act like it. So I'm probably going to end up changing that in the rewrite. I think they're going to be just people who are trying to make a uh, living, doing something they're not good at, um, pursuing not the American dream because they're not in America. Um, I don't even know what they're pursuing, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, today we're going to keep it light. It's uh, Thursday. It's pretty late. It's already after 10. Um, getting sleepy, honestly, so I'm not sure how engaged I'm going to be in this tonight. But it's NaNoWriMo, and we are here to be consistent, so that's what we're going to do. My goal is for a 1,000 words. Um, I think we can at least hit that, so let's just go for it. All right, so we left off, uh, just to refresh your, all, your memory, or if you're new here and totally skipped the last six episodes, uh, right now where we are is we are um, at the point of the play where they're calling Jack to come out and perform. And right now he's supposed to be a pig, so that's what he's doing. Um, I'm thinking I may want to not bring him out, and I'm thinking that might be part of the conflict. In fact, maybe we'll just do that. Play went on like this for about 10 minutes, so there are no stating the obvious, and the other is aping his actions and reactions from the corner of the stage where he was waiting his turn. Jack grew tired of watching all the nothing happening before him and nodded off. He wasn't certain how long he had been out when he felt the f his foot jabbing in the rim. Mate up and said, we're on, get out there. Jack uh, took a few steps uh, toward the center of the stage. Or maybe you can do following. Following Upton's cue. Jack took a few steps toward the center stage. But he couldn't help but to drag his feet. He had the energy to lumber out there fall on all fours and oink for a few minutes but he couldn't find the motivation as a pig he wondered what his motive even was. Was he looking for food? Was he searching for a belly rub? As a pig, um, he had limited options and to project as or project his impressions of what he believed a pig would do under the circumstances. Um, set up before him, which he was pretty certain had to do with um, farm life though he'd forgotten what um, he's pretty certain how to do with the farm life though he had forgotten exactly oh, goodness gracious what role the pigs had played in the Odyssey at this point he was too sleepy to debate it in his mind and he figured the locals 
probably didn't care much how he had portrayed the pig. So he fell on his knees, crawled uh, a few feet toward Ernest, who was in the middle of the stage, um, pretending to talk to Regina. Um, so call it a few feet toward Ernest, who's and collapsed on his belly. He decided his character was sick and needed rest. Oink. He cried with his sickliest impression of a wounded pig that he could. The rest of the cast looked in his direction with um, narrowed eyes. Mate. Um, the dude's name Upton said as he looked over his shoulder at um, Jack. We're not supposed to make a noise yet. Jack nodded and held his position. Meanwhile, Ernest continued his lines with Regina. Thrifty. Ernest said, I do not have what you are looking for. But I'm sure you do. Regina said, Every man has what I'm looking for. Your ship is clearly full of gold. I need gold. I need lots of gold. But you are mistaken, dear Circe. I do not carry money with me. Um, that sounds like nonsense. Dear Ulysses, every every captain of a ship has money. How would you spend it if you didn't have it? Why, Circe, we don't spend money. We take what we want. That is ridiculous. 
dear Ulysses. <laughs> My maiden has already seen your stash. You clearly have much gold on your ship. Ernest faced the crowd and sighed. <coughs> <coughs> what is it about these island women who think that every sailor has money on him? He stood there and waited for a reaction from the crowd. No one in the front rows seemed to um, get the joke. The back crowd, or the back row, on cue, hurled insults at him. Dear Circe, Ernest said as he resumed the scene, I have a better proposition. Better than gold? Regina said, yes, much better than gold. Regina Face. Uh, so Regina's eyes. Uh, la, 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 la. Regina's. Hmm. Mouth curled slightly. They had spent the first few hours of rehearsal finishing out this sequence where Ulysses leads Circe to the ship where he tells her to wait by the shore as he Climbs aboard and then pulls anchor before she can swindle a single scent out of him. They had intended the scene to end there and a new act begin days later when Ulysses wakes up on the beach of a new island which happens to also have Circe living on it because why not? Um, but Uh, let's see. Ernest seemed to be changing the scene. Let's see now. Screw that. It's obvious. Mm. Is it your ship? Regina asked. She was now looking off toward the sea. 
No, dear Cersei. Let's see. It is my lip. Gina. Um, she swung her head back in earnest direction. I beg your pardon, my lips, dear Cersei. I will kiss you like you've never been kissed, and you will find it, it is much better than gold. Regina's face, uh, let's see, Regina's cheeks went up slightly. She looked as though she were about, to, uh, let's see, as though she looked as though she were yeah, about to laugh. Meat, she whispered. Though the entire front row could likely hear her, she whispered so loudly. That's not the line. Dear Cersei, please, I have no money. All I have is me, me and my crew, and my crew are a bunch of louses not worth a single ounce of spit. So, what I offer is better than gold. I beg to differ. Regina said, gold is always better than spit. Ernest put his arm around her, or put his hand on one shoulder and wrapped his arm around her back. I also beg to defer my lady. You shall see that this is much finer than um, any gem, rock, or stone. Let me show you how much better this may be. Regina turned her head as Ernest leaned in, also not part of, well, it's not part of the story, she whispered to him um, loud enough for the audience. To hear Jack, meanwhile, shook his head. This play was perhaps 
the worst they had ever done and they were certainly No, masters of drama. Um, Ernest, the group, or I'll say the troop, the troop leader, was proving just how unready they were for distant travel. Um, Already they were for overseas performances. Um, see, Jack Mayall shook his head. The play was perhaps this play was turning. This play was turning out to be the worst he'd ever done. They were certainly the master's drama. This trailer is proving just how and ready they were for overseas performance. And Regina was validating um, readiness with every break in character she could manage. The others had little to add to the scene as each one was having trouble um, withholding his laughter, watching Jack had to admit that seeing anyone buff Ernest for such a bold move and in front of an audience no less was better than the show they were intentionally putting on for the people if only they had known the treat they were actually watching they might have appreciated what was happening before their eyes unscripted madness blowing up in the madman's face Regina um, tossed in some extra moxie. Who knows if that's a good term for this time period? Regina tossed in some. Uh, actually, let's see. Regina tossed in some extra moxie when she shoved Ernest a few feet away from her. Stick to the script, scoundrel, she said. Ernest nodded. Yes, yes, Cersei. I shall take you to my ship. Ernest you know, uh, marched across the stage um, with his face down and his lips pouting um, let's see this march across the stage with his face down his lips pounding with every stomp he took Regina followed with her chin held up high.
the others, meanwhile, simply watched, stunned by their leaders, change in yeah. There's improvisation. Hmm. Jack having let's see. Jack deciding that the play was already, let's see, it was already trash, let's see, no, it was already um, worse than dung. The performance equivalent or theatrical is the theatrical equivalent of horse dung went back to sleep right there on stage but not before letting out another painful oink um let's see a few minutes later they were all chased off the stage Ernest grabbed at the um, money jar before any of the guests could take it back. Run back to the inn and get your things together. He said, um, he said under a hurried breath, we're heading to Brazil earlier than scheduled. To the get your things together, we sat on a hurry breath. We're heading to Brazil earlier than scheduled. When? Um, how, how much earlier? Um, Maybelline asked where catching the first ship out of here tonight if possible um, but what about no time to discuss it Ernest said Keep running. They they are getting <coughs> rotten fish to throw at us. Okay. All right. Um, 
feel like Maybelline needs at least one scene. I don't know. I think that's it. All right, you know what? We're over a thousand. That was my golden night. I'm good. Um, we'll resume tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. It's my day off, so I'll have a much longer period to work on this. So I'll probably have a decent one tomorrow. Uh, so we'll, we'll uh, keep going from there. But I um, hope uh, you guys have been enjoying this story so far. I know that th it's not perfect. I mean, it's not supposed to be perfect. It's the first draft. Um, I'm as I'm writing. I'm just I'm thinking about what I actually want the characters to do when I have more time to really kind of work out their place. So Maybelline in particular, she needs to be a little bit more important. I know that. And so one thing I'm gonna, or one of the things I'm gonna do in the future is I'm gonna go back and try to work her in to be a little bit more prominent, but not to. Um, Regina's standard because Regina's supposed to be the female star of the troupe, but um, I think the one thing I don't know if I mentioned it last night, but I was thinking a lot about it, and I, I think I'm gonna be changing a little bit of what their background is. I don't think they're actually professional actors. I think they're trying to become professional actors, but um, and I don't know exactly why their guidance is so bad. But I think right now they're amateurs trying to find their way. And I can come up with a backstory of, of why they're even in this field at some point. But uh, for now, we're just plodding along. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be one of the changes that will happen is uh, most of them are not actually particularly skilled at acting. And so this whole thing was a big risk. And uh, one they're discovering now that wasn't worth taking. So this should be a little more interesting, I hope. Uh, but like I said, if you guys are watching this, let me know what you think. Um, and don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, um, send money. I'm just kidding. I'll do that. But whatever, uh, you know, whatever in the comments you have or anything like that, let me know. Um, I do want to hear back from you guys. Uh, once again, my continued efforts on this is going to be dependent on whether or not you all watch it. So I do plan to go all the way to day 30. But that plan can change if the response is um, basically absent. So it's up to you guys. Keep this going. So and I mean, I'll still write it. I'm gonna write it anyway. But whether I do it on camera, it's up to you guys. So all right. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. Uh, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hey y'all. Oops, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to do a uh, work count for you guys. So 1050s are count for today 50 over oops so this is probably going to put us a little bit under par for the month but that's okay so i'm going to catch up tomorrow 11875 is where we are to now okay sorry that was important i apologize that i forgot uh it's just it's the end of work week for me i'm tired so I don't really want to spend much time on this tonight, as you can probably imagine. But anyway, all right, now I'm calling it. Thanks. Bye.